Hi, everybody. Welcome to this quick video from Apps Events. I'm here with my awesome colleague, Zaytoon. Hi, Zaytoon. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Excited We're excited to be, here. To be... <laughs> Fantastic. We're very excited to be here today talking about Duet AI. We've just enabled Duet AI on our Apps Events domain. There are some exciting features which are, which are available now and lots more exciting features coming as well. Today, we're just going to give a quick overview to the features which are currently available. So right now, Duet AI for Google Workspace is available within Docs and Gmail, Google Meet, Google Slides, and Google Sheets. The features for Gmail and Docs are quite similar. They, they help you write features, and Zaytoon will go into a bit more depth than that in a moment. Within Google Meet, there's a few features to make you look better with studio mode, and we're generating backgrounds in Google Meet. We'll come back to that in a few minutes. There are visualization tools and slides. And then we have Google Sheets. There are some organizational tools within Google Sheets, which Zaytoon will talk about. OK, Zaytoon, are we, can I hand over to you to, to begin the quick demo? Absolutely. So we'll start off with uh, looking at Google Slides. Now, Google Slides, um, and I'm talking from a more um, in-classroom experience uh, as a teacher. Google Slides is a nice little um, tool for you to create your lessons, uh, create workbooks, um, and create um, worksheets for your students. And now with Duet AI, what you are able to do is have that image that you need in, in your lesson or in your document that you can't find on the internet. So you are in charge of generating your own image. An example for you that I'm gonna put in here is very simply um, an elephant, for example, in front of the Burj Khalifa, okay? So I've just typed it into um, the box, I've clicked create, and it will start to generate some images that matches my description. Now, I have a few images there that I quite like, but what I'm also able to do is add a bit of a style to it. Now, if I want to add, uh, have my picture as a photograph, maybe a background, or even as a vector art, I can add that in. I really like the cyberpunk side of it because it just generates um, an awesome looking image that you can use within your documents. So it's just going to change up the style for me. Again, it'll just take 20 seconds or so to generate this new image. And there you've got, you've got an example of uh, a cyberpunk um, style image of an elephant from a Burj Khalifa. And you've also got that first style so if you if you want to compare you it's very easy to do so so i'm just going to take this image here i just need to click on it and it will enter into my document that i have here i can then do as i would normally do and edit and move it around and so forth so that is um as simple as it is to help you visualize um, um an idea that you may have around an image that you may need within google uh, slides. What's now, great about that stay tuned as well. Sorry, yeah, the copyright. You don't need to worry about copyright as well. Absolutely, absolutely. Because it's it's your image. It's something that you've generated and, and come up with. Um, so yeah, but you don't need to worry about copyright at all. So um, moving on to uh, Google Docs. Now uh, within Google Docs. I'm really excited for this because there's been so many times where you sit and you, you don't know where to start with when you write a strategic plan, for example, or if you if you put in together um, a documentation. Now, within Google Docs, you have the Duet AI, which is Help Me Write. And again, the other thing that you do is you, you're describing what it is that you need. So I'm going to put in a description. So I want it to write a strategic plan for me. Um, for a school leadership team. Okay. Again, I'm going to create. It'll take 20 seconds or so 
to generate this um, strategic plan for me. And once it's created that strategic plan, what you're able to do is you can either keep it as it is, or you're then able to um, refine it, okay? The other feature I love in this is, for example, if there was a certain part within the strategic plan that you want to then elaborate on. So, for example, if I was to say increase the student achievement, I can just, I'm just going to insert that so it sits into my document. So that's into my document there. And I'm now just going to highlight st increase student achievement. And you can see just on the side there, you've got this little button that is flashing. If you click into that button, you can then choose elaborate and what that does it takes that bullet point and it will elaborate further into that that idea that goal that maybe that you may have had and it will add in some more information for you and then you can just insert that into your document so you are elaborating on um key points with them which is a really nice idea to have um especially when you're trying to again find those ideas and as a teacher as a school leader this is the perfect example of how you can save time how quickly you can get a plan like this up and running and then for you to edit and make it your own okay um now swiftly moving on we're going to have a look at google sheets um again this is one of one of the ones where i have spent hours trying to like just sort out all my columns and making sure I've got all the timing right and so on. But if I have a school event on like an inset day or an in-service day, um, and I want to very quickly uh, create a plan for a staff uh, training day, that's all I need to write and I click create. And what it will do for me is create the um, backbone, the outline for my staff train day with all the timings in it so again i can just go in and edit very quickly um whatever i need inside uh my training day okay it's as quick as that i've got everything in place that i need there and again you can go in and you can add in your own uh columns you can add in status if you want you can add in all sorts of different things to help enhance um what do it ai have put in in place for you Always remember, do AI is a perfect example of a tool that will begin something or start something up for you, and then you will go ahead and then elaborate and make that um, work for you in your environment and in your schools. So they're the three things that I'm going to showcase to you today, um, and James is now going to showcase a couple of other tools where do it AI is enabled. Thanks, A2. And I'm just looking at the. Um the the sheets you just shared there the time column it's always a it's so it's ironically so time consuming to fill out those timings like that so it's a big time saver absolutely right let me just share my window we're going to jump into the gmail features and then we will have a look at a couple of the google meet features as well okay so Zayting, can i just check can you see my gmail window Great. So within Gmail, if you don't immediately see the AI features, the help me write features, you can just go down to the toolbar at the bottom. And there's a, a small icon here that says help me write. I click on that and I can see the help me write toolbar just coming up there. Once I got the toolbar up, so within Gmail, it's very similar to Docs, the way it works. It's going to help you write a document. In this case, it's going to help you write an email. I want it to craft an invitation to um, the end of year parents meeting. And let's create that email. And what's great about this, because it's um, it's integrated within Gmail, you have everything else that's integrated within Gmail. For example, you've got mass send, or you have your newsletter templates as well. Here's my email. I'm looking at a suggestion. I'm quite happy. I can just go ahead and I can insert this. And similarly, as um, Zaytun just showcased a few moments ago. If we wanted, and I didn't like this invitation, I can just click on recreate and it will completely recreate that email and give me another suggestion. I find that this one I'm a little bit happier with. I can go ahead, insert this suggestion here, insert this template. And then, of course, we can go ahead and edit this. So that's using Help Me Write within Gmail. 
and you have the same features as Zaytun showed just a moment ago. If I found that this, this sentence here needs to be a little bit longer, if I want to elaborate on that, I can just click on elaborate, select the sentence, click on elaborate, and it will recreate the suggestion with that expanded sentence and put it in. Okay, so that's within Gmail. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna to go to Google Meet. I'm gonna get the kind of window and window thing here. But within Google Meet, what we can also do is we can create um, AI generated backgrounds. So right now, I, I think I, my prompt for this one was the California Google office or something like that. What if instead I wanted to have a school in Paris as a background? So I'm speaking to a school in Paris and I want something a little bit more contextualized for that meeting. So I can put in my prompt, I click on generate, so generate some samples. And again, you can choose photography, you can choose all your different styles of image here. I look down, these look like very classical schools in Paris. I can choose this background, I like that. It looks like a, a school near the Louvre or, or something like that. I can choose my background. And now we've got an image that is unique to this meeting that hasn't been used before. It also saves these background images for your use later as well. Okay, so once we've um, changed our background, I'm just gonna bring up, oops, sorry, I'm just gonna bring up my settings. And so within your settings, you also have this studio look button. I don't turn this on because it looks like um, sometimes I've had surgery or I've had a facelift, but when you turn it on, it seems to me make, make me even my, my skin even paler in this in this white light. But you can use the studio look to improve the look of the of your image within Google Meet as well. You can see actually right now it's not having a massive effect on that, but you can play around with that. The studio look is all powered by AI. So it sharpens your features so that people can see you better. So those are the available features within Google Meet. I'm just gonna go lastly, in fact, maybe I will just share the slide deck directly. So we've kind of, we've gone through a quick overview of the features within Docs, Sheets, Slides, Gmail, and Meet. And lastly, it's very exciting. So we're recording this in September, last week was Google Next, and there are a lot of exciting features coming to do at AI in the next few months. So coming soon, I think in up to six months, within the next six months, a lot of these features will be launched. Sort of the overarching theme is that we're moving away from prompt-based AI within Google to contextualized. And what that means, wherever you are within Google, whether it's in Sheets or in Meet or in, or in, in Gmail, it's contextualized to that situation. So whatever you're doing, the AI is there. So you don't have to say, you don't have to say create a document with these parameters. It's gonna be there and be your support and be your assistant. Some of the other features which are coming, this sounds really exciting, the email summaries and suggested actions. So you open your email inbox in the morning, mine's a nightmare usually, but it will recommend priority emails, but it will also recommend tasks related to those emails. Looking forward to seeing that. Secondly, generating slides from any file in Drive. We'll have to see how this comes out in the final version. That will give you the feature set to be able to take a Google Doc and turn it into a slide deck and presumably automatically create images for that slide deck as well. You'll be able to rewrite documents based upon tone from another document. So if you've written a report and your tone your voice is in that report, you can give Google a prompt and say, I want to write a report about these uh, bullet points. Use this other doc as a base for that. Use the same tone. Google Meet, well, this, this is actually where it's getting very exciting. Google Meet will automatically take notes and suggest action items. So if you're in a Google Meet, where, you know, it could be a big staff meeting, it will automatically take the notes and suggest action items to you. So anything that's relevant to you, it will summarize that and tell you what you need to do. And another feature, which may be the most popular feature, is attend for me and ask questions on your behalf. If you're unable to attend a meeting, Google Meet will attend on your behalf, but also pose questions which you may have for the meeting. Finally, 
Duet AI and Google Chat. I think this is where it really comes to be um, a personal assistant. It will sit in chat, give you prompts and reminders sourced from your meetings or docs or emails, and it will be sitting there reminding you of all those things you haven't done yet. There are all the features that we're looking to see over the next few months. Very important, if you've got any questions about Duet AI in Google Workspace for Education, please do reach out to myself or Zaytun. You'll see our emails probably at the bottom of this video. Uh, there'll be a form to fill out as well to express your interest. Zaytun, thank you. Um, everybody, have an awesome day.